So in this video, I will show you how to manually charge your batteries using grid power or ESCOM power. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that grid charging is enabled on your DAE inverter. How to do that? You click on the cog in the top right hand corner of the inverter. You then click on battery settings. You go to the second page using the down arrow on this LCD screen and then you click on the grid charge icon. Make sure it is enabled. You will then click on the check mark in the bottom right corner, hand corner. This will save your settings. Um, if you don't do that then it will not save the settings and you will not be able to charge your batteries manually. The next step is to go to system work mode. Use the down arrow on the LCD screen to get to this table. Just make sure that if your inverter looks like this, that you enable time of use. Okay, the next step is to actually tell your inverter from what time to what time must it charge your batteries. So the easiest and most simple solution would be to make sure that your um, battery column and row, let's say you have load shedding from 6 to 7 or from 6 to 8 or what, whatever, um, that you enable grid charge um, at least two or three hours before that happens. So you will see here that I'm selecting two of them. I will use grid charge from, from one o'clock to five o'clock and then from five to nine. So I know I've got load shedding between six and eight. So I will select those two um, rows and I will ensure that my battery column, that percentage there is at 100%. Okay, so now that I've um, set them both to 100%, I know that my day inverter will charge my batteries um, from 1 to 5 and from 5 to 9 using grid power and it will try and get the batteries at all, all the way up to 100%. Okay, now let's say it's 9 o'clock and load shedding is over and um, I don't want the inverter to continue um, using um, ESCOM power to charge the batteries. Um, so you, for that you have to actually go and disable grid charge on, in, this, in this column. If you do not do this, your inverter will continue for the rest of time to charge your batteries from 1 to 5 and from 5 to 9 every single day up to 100%. Now that is not what we want because then you'll be using ESCOM power to charge your batteries and that's kind of counterproductive towards um, the system that you've installed. Okay, so after, let's say, you've selected them now, you must click the check mark in the bottom right. Otherwise the inverter will not save those settings and it will not do as you intended. Okay, so let's go back to system work mode. So my batteries are charged now, I know um, that load shedding is over and I will now go and deselect grid charge and click the save. Okay, so I will do one more example where I will show you, let's say I've got load shedding from 8 at night all the way to 10 o'clock. So I will go to system work mode, I will go to the second page and let's see, from 8 to 10 o'clock. So what I will do is I will select from seven to uh, from from five o'clock to seven o'clock. Um, I will select grid charge on that one, and then from seven to one o'clock I will also select grid charge just to ensure that my batteries will be full when eight o'clock comes. So then I will make sure that my battery percentage for both of those are at set up to a hundred percent. Okay. So once I've done that, I will click on the check mark to save those settings. Okay. Now time passes, it's the next morning um, and I know my load shedding is over, I don't have load shedding today, I will proceed back to system work mode, I will go to the second page and I will deselect those two rows. Otherwise, tonight, when tonight comes, my inverter will yet again kick in and charge the batteries to 100% using grid power and that is not what I want. Okay. Remember to click the save button and then you can press the escape button on, the, on the, the physical key and then you are done setting up your manual grid charge and 